welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a what the heck check on Bella Hadid and The Weeknd as part of our retro love series. Why didn't these two crazy kids work out? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, now I'm cutting the cards with my non-dominant hand. So let's take a quick look at their immediate astrological charts. Bella Hadid is a Libra and she's got a Virgo rising and a Virgo moon. So that's very interesting. So she's air, but she's framed by the stability of Earth. So what's interesting about that is like Virgos can be a little OCD and some people think it, they're always OCD about cleanliness, but it, it doesn't have to be cleanliness. Usually with, with strong Virgo energy in someone's chart, they're just OCD about something. And you could say that like Bella's like a little OCD about her appearance. I mean, all the plastic surgery she's allegedly had, you know, I don't know, I'm not her doctor, but like she's someone who's tried to get her face just so that it almost suggests the OCD-ness of someone with a lot of Virgo in their immediate chart which she absolutely has now the weekends on the other hand he's an Aquarius and he's got a cancer rising and a Scorpio moon so their charts are interesting because they're both air sun signs and she's framed by earth and he's framed by water so they're actually not a bad match you know Based on their immediate charts, they're actually pretty compatible. Like when it comes to two people's sun signs, air signs love to hang out together, love to date each other, love to be friends, be spouses, what have you, because they have that sort of breezy quality where they can just kind of be in the moment and not like fret so much about like, where is this going? They can be non-committal and just like very carpe diem. And he's got that heavy emotional framing that like singer songwriters often have, and she's got a more st stabilizing, you know, or earth framing. Or you could sometimes say when earth signs aren't behaving in a stable way, it's because there's a rigidity there. So you know what, folks? Let's just start pulling some cards. But before we do, so if you haven't already subscribed, we're gonna take this incense, which is frankincense, which I'm always burning during my readings, and I'm gonna blow on it, one, two, three, and on three, you're gonna hit subscribe. And then blessings and good energy are gonna follow you for the rest of the week. And that is my guarantee. And if you're already a subscriber, you'll have double the amount. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, did you hit that subscribe button? I know you did. All right, so let's do it. So Bella, the weekends. Bella, the weekend, helping or hurting the situation, and what was the bottom line there? Because we already know what happened. Okay, so Bella's external vibe towards the weekend. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So the Seven of Cups is one of those frustrating cards to get in a deck because it's just a, it's, it's almost like the guides are asking you a question of like, well, what's real? Like, what's a blessing? What's a curse? You decide. Really think about this. And to have this card in reverse, it almost suggests like she'd done the thinking and she was more grounded in reality that like fantasies of like dating someone famous had like been fading away and like the reality of fame and the reality of dating someone so ho oh, so high profile had like really sunk in. Okay, what was the weekend's vibe towards Bella Hadid? Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so Ace of Wands in reverse. So they, this would have been great, upright. This is great. This would have been like he felt like this was the beginning of something special, like a special journey that they were taking together. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's like it's a non-starter. You know, it's like a match that won't light up. It's, it's almost like he was... He externally was treating her in a way that was just like, you're not the one. You know, as harsh as that sounds, th that's what this indicates. Okay. What, how did Bella feel internally towards the weekend? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. So she may have been really into him. So we got the judgment card. So this is the card of like, God has a plan. Like, it's almost like she felt like them being together was like fate, destiny, the divine order, like very, very, very important to her. That's what this could indicate. It could also indicate like that there wasn't an alignment with God's plan, but I don't actually believe this. I, it's almost like she felt like he was part of God's plan for her. So that's interesting. Okay, how did The weekend feel about Bella Hadid? Oh, okay, well, interesting. Like 
he felt like the Okay, so we get the Devil card in reverse. So this is a very powerful reversal. This is no joke. So the reversal of the Devil card imitates the rainbow of the Ten of Cups. So basically, he was like, we've been through a lot together. Like, they, she had seen a lot of ugly shit from his side. Like, maybe, so this is a card that comes up for addictions, sex addictions, drug addictions, you know, toxic behavior. Upright, this is a negative card, but in reverse, it's actually a very positive card. So he felt like, even though there was that sense of like, hey, I don't think she's the one, he felt a sense probably of loyalty towards her because they'd been through so much ugliness together. Okay, interesting. So what was helping or hurting the situation? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we got the three of wands in reverse. So three of wands upright is like when your ships are coming in, it's a card of added stability because with three wands, you can create a table, you can create a stool. There's just more there to work with. So you're watching from the cliff's edge at your ships, which you have sent out and they're coming back with more stuff to enrich your life and better stabilize your life. So when this comes up in reverse, it's, it's the threes a crowd syndrome. So that makes me wonder if someone was cheating, if there was a third party in the relationship that was like decreasing the stability there. That's what this suggests. So the third party doesn't have to be another broad. I mean, with these musician folks, let me just adjust this light. So the third party doesn't have to be another woman. I mean, with mu musicians, you always wonder that, but like, it could have just been like he was married to his work, but third party causing drama. And so what was the bottom line about why these two didn't work out? Oh, interesting. Okay, so one of them, so we got the six of swords. So one of them needed to seek out stable waters. One of them, I guess, left because they needed calm, they needed stability, and the other person wasn't really offering that to them, is what this is suggesting. So the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords is just gathering up your shit and getting in the boat with, you know, your loved one, your little dog. You know, sometimes the boatman comes with you, sometimes the boatman is just the boatman, you know, kind of like an Uber driver, but that's what this is suggesting. Someone had to leave for really their own peace and sanity. So that's interesting. So that's what I got for you. I didn't you really hear a lot about why those two broke up, so I don't really have much gossip to add to this or data from the inside. If you know anything, put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.